but looking at it right now, you see the size of the size of the piece. You see the size of my hand. Watch this. Yeah, that's how light it is right now. So let's go into the detail of what we're making and where this goes, Yuta Sun. All right, Yuta Sun, the machine has now grown behind us, right? It's increased in size. So I think something, one thing is very obvious I'm seeing already is more than one part in there, but there are a lot of cool little differences to this big old machine, right? Can we talk about those? Sure, actually, so we have uh, two machine models, which is Lumix Apache 25, which we discussed earlier. This is Lumix Apache 60. This machine can print the part up to this cube, up to this size. So obviously, if you have a multiple parts, we can print them at a the time. Actually, this part particularly, it takes 84 hours to complete whole three parts. 84 hours. Now, there's a piece over on that table that I really want to show the audience. Is there any chance we could sneak over there and show that to sure. them? Sure, why don't we take uh, a look? You know, this part that we're getting ready to look at, if you've made it this far, which I'm sure most of you have, into this video because yuto Sun is so exciting to talk to, <laughs> there is a piece here that you are going to be excited to see, and it's this one. Now, yuto Sun is going to talk about it in detail about what it is, but looking at it right now, you see the size of the, size of the piece, you see the size of my hand, watch this. Yeah, that's how light it is right now. So let's go into the detail of what we're making and where this goes, Yuta Sun. Sure. So this part is actually what we call tower brace. It, 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 this is actually a part for racing car. So racing car, of course, the weight of the part is very important. So that's why they use, uh, we use a 3D printer to make this part. So what is unique about this part is the thickness. It, actually, this thickness is one millimeter. And of course, it has an AM structure the great rigidity is there. And another unique point is that we have some area to do machining, I mean, post-process. But this part is, of course, you know, we need precision and accuracy. So that's why we have a reference surface to locate the center. That's why, that's how we locate the exact area to machine so that don't, we don't make, a, we don't mess apart. So reference surface, for those of you watching right now, as Yudo Sun has said, is here you can see it's a little bit smoother than this bumpy area here right and to even have a better look if the camera could come right over here to this piece we have different surfaces right on the edges here now accuracy precision reliability these are all the things that define matt Sura, right mm -hmm. so let's talk about what this is actually doing for the customer to continue to help them find that accuracy they need sure so again when we do when we get involved with the machining of our 3D printed part, in general, 3D printed part has a rough surface. And if you need a precision, you have to locate where to cut, where to make a hole. But in order to do that, you need a very good, very established reference surface, like a smooth surface like that. So you use a, like a touch probe to touch here and touch here to make sure coordinates there, then you can do machining a cut like as a post process. Otherwise, it is so very difficult to locate this center without this surface. And that's how the Lumex, our machine can help make it easier. Having the additive, having the spindle, the combination, increasing the size, multiple parts. The fact that this can be machined, and it's, I'm still mind blown, mm -hmm. by the way, about this one, Yuto Sun, about how light it is. This might be able to change the way we are doing, shoot, racing for mm -hmm. crying out loud right yeah. the reason that this has stability and to be so light and so thin I, I don't know if i'm expressing how excited i am i have to be right you guys understand how amazing this is anyway pretty cool stuff is there any closing statements that you'd like to say about the lumex to the audience watching or have you pretty much conveyed the message that you'd like to share well so alas actually we again we've doing this for more than 20 years and we have a lot of experience and expertise. And also we have a good skill team located in North America and in Germany. So we don't sell machine, we sell solution. So we basically we give the consultation and make sure your part is, is made with the precision and accuracy you need. So please talk to us, our engineers and our headquarters work together and you make your dream come true. That's our message. He's making my dreams come true today, guys. I can tell you that right now, being in the factory, being able to share. 
this technology with you. With that, how about a little mic drop after that statement?